So say hello to Gizmo, everybody. So Gizmo is a regular of ours. <laughs> We've not been to him for a while because of all the lockdown and everything. And he is in real need of a full, thorough, well he's going to have to have a full clip because his coat is too far gone. He's very, very matted underneath. Very, very thick pelts under here. Even his head. <laughs> he's got big clumps and tufts. Hasn't it, Giz? So, we just, um, I've had him settled on the table for a little bit. So I'm just using the molten comb just to make a start, just to get these clumps out of his head. And that's all you need to do, is use the molten comb. See how easy that was? So there's one of the clumps come off. Another one. And we're just teasing, teasing them out. And quite often just pull out with your fingers once you've got the comb through them. All little ones. He's a good boy, he is. So he's a Persian cat. He does have quite a dry coat um, because I don't think he really tolerates the brushing at home very much. <laughs> so he does get matted, and like we said, because of everything that's going on in the world right now, we've not seen him for a while. So He's going to have to have quite, quite a big job done on him. Aren't you, Giz? Hey. But see how they're just, once you loosen them with the comb. That's just off his head, isn't it? That's just, that's just the top of his head. The very top of your head. You're going to be a patient boy for me today, Gizmo. Hey. You're going to be a good boy for me? Yeah, you always are, aren't you? I know he does get fidgety after a while, so I do want to go fairly quickly with him. But at the moment, all good. So he's had a little mini brush out on the head. We've removed the tats on the head and just round his ears, just make him a little bit more comfortable. He's got a few still under his chin here but they're gonna to have to be shaved away as well. They're too tight for the comb. So I'm gonna start on the bulk of the, the clip now just to get this off him, because this is very, very matted. He looks fine on the top, but it's well matted underneath. So he's used to the clippers. So I'm just making his line ready for his neckline there. So he's got a nice bib. And then we're gonna start at the top and go in. What you're doing, a lion clip. So he's having a full, a full clip or a lion clip, you call them. There we go. And we're off. Oh, sun's just come out through the window. Look at that beautiful sunshine, Giz. Hey, I'm about to put the blind down in a minute for you so it's not in your face. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So he knows us. Don't we? Because we've been to him so many times in the past, haven't we, Giz? Hey? He knows what this is all about. And he feels so much wetter when this coat's off as well. <laughs> Stay facing that way for me, Bubbas. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, and do you want these off? Are these tight? Are these tight on your leggies? Are they? That doesn't help me sit in that way though. No, I need you to be straight for me, babes. Got nice markings. <laughs> yeah, he suits his clip to be honest. So again, the first clip's not perfect. We, we tidy up as we get the main bulk of the coat off first and then we do a tidy clip. So we've just got to get underneath these pelts. Uh, 
And I use the Bravora clippers. Um, they're nice and quiet. I've, uh, I've had those from the day I qualified. Well, I got I bought them while in my training because they were recommended. And uh, I've never looked back, always used the, the Bravoras. And I use the adjustable blades on them as well. So we can go up and down depending on the severity of the, how much clipping, how close to the skin we have to do. So we never go too close to the skin. There is some layer of uh, hair on him here because he's not going in for major surgery or anything. There we go. So it's like a sheep, mm -hmm. isn't it? And again, that's a pelt, because there's no way that will pull apart. You'd never get a brush through it. So on the top, it looks like a lovely coat. And underneath, you've got this solid, dense lump. It's a good inch thick. And it makes him itchy as well, he's glad to get it off. Does that restrict them from walking? It does eventually, yeah. if it gets too bad it can stop the movement with the legs because if this pelt goes right across it hinders them and it can tear their skin as well if they're active cats and they're trying to leap and jump. It can cause all kinds of problems. And some cats even tear them off themselves and can rip their skin so it's always best to be preventative rather than having to do things after it's happened. Um, so regular groom outs, if you can't cope yourself, you know, get them to your groomer. And if you can groom them yourself, all the better. Just make sure it's very regular so you don't have to do it retrospectively to get rid of the, the mats. Because it is a nightmare once they've got so far to bring them back. Good boy, Giz. So he's particularly... Yeah, we'll shut that blind in a second. Um, he's particularly bad around here because this is where he'll do a lot of his rubbing and washing himself. Good boy. Right. You're a good boy, you're pairing away there for me, aren't you? Hey. You're pairing away, you are. You're a good boy. You've got a very, very mucky face, haven't you? <laughs> you're good lad. Let's carry on, Babs. So we're on the other side of Gizmo. Doing this full clip or full line clip for him. Very good boy. Yes, Giz. Let's get rid of all that. Let's get rid of all that there. Right, so that's the bulk of it off on the top. Just start going down here a little bit further. Go as far as we can reach with the clippers and being safe. And then we have to basically turn him over then onto his side so we can get to his belly and all his undercarriage there. Get clipped all around the back. Good boy. Good lad. Just get this last bit off your shoulder here, mister. That's the so natural think, colour line, is it? Yeah. yeah, it's where, yeah, that was his natural rough. Yeah. So any groomer will tell you the top of a cat is probably the easiest. Uh, the, the tricky bit is the belly, the legs, the hind legs. Um, and it's all down to, because cats are so used to being stroked on top, they're quite tolerant. And um, when you go underneath, that they're not so keen. And legs, they're not keen on legs being touched. What's happened to your tail, mister, as well? Your tail is full of mats. 
So quite often we tend to leave the tail on them so that they've got some warmth to wrap around them. I'm not sure, I'm going to have to see if I can get a brush through this or not. Um, I always take the top couple of inch off the tail just to get it away from his bum. Quite bad that, isn't it? But he does feel extreme, he feels like there's big clumps in there. Um, so your tail's got matted too, mister, hasn't it? Hey, I'm not sure we're going to save that to Izzy Giz, but I will try my best. Start on his belly. How are we going to fare with this, Giz? Hey, how are we going to fare, Roly Poly? Oh, good boy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. No, let's try it. Let's try it again. Good boy. So it's gently, gently, gently. Holding my arms, good boy, good boy. Little hearts going like the clappers. I know, I know you're not fussed on lying down, I know. Yes. So what we tend to do with Giz as well, quite often, if he's not so fussed on lying down, because he is an older boy, <coughs> and they do have aches and pains like us, what we'll tend to do is when there's, I've got Steve not on the camera, Steve will lift Gizio up for me like this because he prefers to stand on his back legs and it means I'm freer then to come down here. Now I can do little bits here to get the clipping done this way. You do what you have to do. Some cats are quite tolerant of it like this. Others are very tolerant of being on the side. You just have to judge each cat differently. of uh, Gizmo's line clips done. I'm just giving them a little break from the clippers while I concentrate on this tail. So for the tail, I'm not using the molten comb with the two teeth. I'm just using the basic metal comb because we don't want the tail thinning completely out and he's that matted. Um, so I've took two inches here. Because he's matted in here, if I use the molten comb with the two teeth, it would take a lot away. So we're just doing little bits and we are getting through it. So we can save your tail, mister. So you've got something warm to wrap around you. I know you don't like your tail being touched. I know, Giz, but you've been ever so good for me. So that's what's come out of him so far. That's just the tail. I think it's quite thick there. So yeah, I don't think something looks all right like the tail looks fine when you actually try and get the comb through it it doesn't go through good boy you've been ever so good haven't you well that's just dead hair is it this mate? is all just dead hair just stuck in here and does that pelt eventually yeah well it was starting to 
yeah. it was starting to go into a big clump and if we hadn't got it sooner that would have been a full clip of the tail which I mean you know quite a few of the customers have the full the full tail off and just leave a pom-pom on the end so they are like a proper lion but with it being winter I prefer to keep the tail on so at least they've got something to wrap around them and that is going through nicely now I know baby cakes oh, that's what it needs to do with. you can see it there's actually a difference in color when it's the dead hair Tail, would you? you no, know, that's an enormous amount of fluff out of that thick tail, isn't it? Hey, that is feeling lovely now. It is, baby. So he's Gizmo all finished now. All done. All these bits away from me, baby. There you go. So the comb is going through this bib, lovely. His face is all demassed. He had them right up by his chin. Didn't you? Yeah. Loves that, don't you? Yeah. And he's been ever such a good boy. Really, really good boy, haven't you? He's had his eyes wiped. Still a bit of muck there. Look, we're gonna have to get that. Oh, it's off, that's off your cheek. That bit off your cheek there. There you go. That's a good boy. There you go. So he's had his clip all off. Belly's done. We've managed to save a lot of the tail. Uh, so he's got something to wrap around him. He's just had the top couple of inch off. So we can pop that round him. And I'm going to pop him back in his basket because you have a little shiver on you. <laughs> You're a little bit cold. Yeah, you need to get back home, don't you, babes, now? So that's Gizmo, everybody. 